In this lesson, we are going to take a look at how we can add the alignment functionality to a dynamic block in AutoCAD. If you would like to try this exercise along with me, you can find a link to the file in the description for this video. If you haven't used the Align Grip yet, it's a very fantastic tool. It allows you to align a block to another object, basically allowing you to use the Rotate command without knowing which angle you need to rotate at. So here I've got a little half bathroom. I want to rotate my toilet to match the wall. I'm not really sure what angle it's drawn at, but I don't need to know that. I can grab this little alignment grip that looks kind of like a house. Then I can just move it in and align it to any wall just by holding it over a line. You'll notice that it turns the snap to nearest on momentarily in order to place it. So I'd like to do the same thing with the vanity here which is actually a very simple process. I'll double click on the block to get into the editor. Then in the block editor on the parameters tab of my authoring palettes, I will use the alignment parameter. In my situation, I'm going to replace the insertion point grip with the alignment grip. So for my first click, I'm going to click on the origin point here. Then for my second click, I will come over and click on the left side of the vanity here. So that's going to specify that line as the alignment line. You'll notice that the grip points away from the vanity, which is what I want. That means that as I move it towards a wall, it will align to that wall. And that's all there is to it. No action to add to it. I'll go ahead and close my block editor and save my changes. Now when I select the block, I can see my alignment grip. I can simply select it and now you can see as I move to any wall it's going to rotate it to align to that particular wall. So in this case I will find the midpoint of this wall here and snap to place my vanity. So once more a pretty simple process you just simply have to add the alignment parameter to a block and specify a reference line that can be used to align the block to another object. That concludes this look at adding the alignment function to a dynamic block in AutoCAD.